Section 8, Disaster Management Act 2005, Introduction. The Disaster Management Act was enacted by Government of India in the year 2005. The law on disaster management provides for necessary institutional mechanism for drawing up and monitoring the implementation of the disaster management plans, ensuring measures for prevention and mitigating effects of disaster and for undertaking a holistic coordinated and prompt response to any disaster circumstances. In the previous lesson, you have learned about the different phases of disaster management. In this lesson, various provisions of the Disaster Management Act will be discussed. Objective. On completion of this lesson, you would learn about the various provisions of the Disaster Management Act, salient features of the Disaster Management Act 2005 responsibilities of the central government, the act puts on central government the obligation to take all measures necessary and expedient for the purpose of disaster management, including coordination between ministries and departments, state governments, various domestic and international agencies, etc. It is also obliged to make proper allocation of funds. As per the act, the central government is responsible for coordinating by action by ministries, departments of central government, the national authority and state authority, government and non-governmental organization. The local authority ensures training of its officers and employees and maintaining all resources so as to be readily available for use in the event of a disaster. The local authority also ensures that construction projects under them conform to the standard and specifications laid down. The local authorities carries out relief, rehabilitation and reconstruction activities in the affected area within its jurisdiction. The act empowers the central government to constitute the National Institute of Disaster Management, the National Institute of Disaster Management plans and promotes training and research in disaster management, documentation and development of national level information base relating to disaster management policies, prevention, mechanism and mitigation measures. A national disaster response force shall be constituted for specialist response. The act authorizes central government to constitute a national disaster response fund for emergency response. In addition, the central government may constitute a national disaster mitigation fund for mitigation projects. The state government shall establish disaster response fund and disaster mitigation fund at state and district level. The act empowers the central government to issue directions to the government authorities, organizations, statutory bodies to facilitate or assist in disaster management. Action taken in good faith by any officer or employee of the central government, national authority, state government, state authority, district authority and local authority shall be protected and no prosecution or suit will lie in any court. The officer shall be immune from legal processes in regard to any warning communicated or disseminated 
in their official capacity. The central government is empowered to make rules to carry out the provision of the act and make regulations to carry out its objectives as laid down in the act. National Disaster Management Authority The act provides for setting up of a National Disaster Management Authority under the chairmanship of the Prime Minister with other nominated ministers. One of the members may be designated as Vice Chairperson of National Disaster Management Authority. The National Disaster Management Authority is the apex body at the national level. The National Disaster Management Authority is assisted by an executive committee of secretaries to be constituted by the central government. An advisory committee of experts is set up by the authority. The National Disaster Management Authority is solely responsible for laying down the policies, plans and guidelines for disaster management. Powers and functions of National Disaster Management Authority. According to the Act, key responsibilities of National Disaster Management Authority include laying down the policies, plans and guidelines for disaster management for ensuring timely and effective response to disaster. It lays down the policies on disaster management, approve the national plan and approve plans developed by various ministries of the union, lay down the guidelines to be followed by the state authorities in drawing up state plans. National Disaster Management Authority also is mandated to recommend guidelines for minimum standards of relief to be provided to persons affected by disaster. The minimum standards are as follows. Minimum requirements to be provided in the relief camps in relation to shelter, food, drinking water, medical cover and sanitation. Special provisions to be made for widows and orphans. Ex gratia assistance on account of loss of life and also assistance on account of damage to houses and for restoration of means of livelihood. And such other relief as may be necessary. In case of a disaster of severe magnitude, the National Disaster Management Authority is empowered to recommend relief in repayment of loans or for grant of fresh loans to the persons affected by disaster. National Executive Committee, as per the Act, the central government is empowered to constitute a National Executive Committee which is responsible for assisting National Disaster Management Authority in execution of various functions for disaster management. The Secretary of the Ministry which is responsible for disaster management is Chairperson of National Executive Committee. The Secretaries in the Ministries of Agriculture, Atomic Energy, Defense, Drinking Water Supply, Environment and Forests, Finance, Expenditure, Health, Power, Rural Development, Science and Technology, Space, Telecommunication, Urban Development, Water Resources and the Chief of Integrated Defence Staff will be members of the National Executive Committee. Powers and Functions of National Executive Committee Powers and Functions of National Executive Committee are as follows. To assist National Disaster Management Authority in functions of implementing its plans and policies to ensure compliance with the directives of central government, to act as a coordinating and monitoring body for disaster management, prepare the national plan to be approved by the National Disaster Management Authority, to prepare guidelines for different ministries with respect to disaster management, to provide technical assistance to state governments and authorities to monitor the implementation of the national plans and plans of various ministries, to monitor implementation of the guidelines laid down by National Disaster Management Authority, to coordinate response in case of disaster, to advise and assist various ministries and departments, national plan the national plan is a disaster management plan for the entire country. It is prepared by national executive committee in consultation with the state governments and various bodies in the field of disaster management. 
once prepared, National Disaster Management Authority approves it. The basic things to be included in national plans are as follows. What measures are to be taken for the prevention of disasters or the mitigation of their effects? What measures are to be taken for the integration of mitigation measures in the development plan? What measures are to be taken for preparedness and capacity building? What will be the roles and responsibilities of different ministries or departments? A national plan has to be reviewed and updated annually. The central government would finance the measures to be carried out as per the plan. The copies of the plan shall be distributed to all ministries and departments and using this plan. The ministries would develop their own plans. State Disaster Management Authority. The act provides for a state disaster management authority in each state and union territory under the chairmanship of chief minister, the lieutenant governor, administrator, the vice chairperson and members of the state disaster management authority are nominated by the chief minister, the lieutenant governor, administrator as the case may be. The state authority is responsible for laying down the policies and plans for disaster management in the state. It is assisted by a state executive committee. The state authority constitutes an advisory committee of experts as and when it is considered necessary. It is mandatory for ministries, departments to draw up department wise plan in accordance with the national disaster management plan. A state disaster management authority is to be established by every state government. The chief minister of the state is the chairperson of state disaster management authority. There are maximum nine members other than the chairperson. In case of union territory with no assembly, Delhi and Puducherry, the lieutenant governor or the administrator is the chairman of the state disaster management authority. Other employees and staffs of the state disaster management authority are appointed by the state government. Powers and functions of state disaster management authority. As per the act, the powers and functions of state disaster management authority are as mentioned below. To lay down the disaster management policies and plans for state. To lay down state disaster management policy. To approve state plans as per guidelines of national plan and to lay down guidelines to be followed by departments of the state. The act maintains that in case of emergency, the chief minister would have the power to exercise all or any of the powers of the state disaster management authority. But the exercise of such powers shall be subject to ratification of the state disaster management authority. State executive committee. The act empowers the state government to create state executive committee to assist the state disaster management authority in the performance of its functions and to coordinate action in accordance with the guidelines laid down by the state disaster management authority and ensure the compliance of directions issued by the state government under this act. Its powers and functions are almost a replica of the national executive committee at state level. Further, it can control and restrict vehicular traffic to, from or within the vulnerable or affected area. Control and restrict the entry of any person into his movement within and departure from a vulnerable or affected area. Remove debris, conduct research and carry out rescue operations. And provide shelter, food, drinking water, essential provisions, health care and services. State Disaster Management Plan. Every state executive committee prepares a state disaster management plan as per the guidelines of the National Disaster Management Authority. State plan approved by the state disaster management authority. The state plan would comprise various vulnerabilities, measures to be adopted for prevention and mitigation, capacity building measures, roles and responsibilities of various departments, etc. The state plan has to be reviewed every year. The state government will finance the measures listed out in state plans. District Disaster Management Authority. 
the act authorizes state government to constitute district disaster management authority in their respective states with district magistrate as chairperson and president zilla parishad or chief executive member district autonomous council as the case may be as co chairperson the district disaster management authority acts as the district planning coordinating and implementing body for disaster management appropriate provisions are made for taking mitigation and preparedness measures in accordance with the national state and district plans powers and functions of district disaster management authority the district disaster management authority works as a district planning coordinating and implementing body for disaster management it will coordinate with the upper two tiers of structure and will plan the implementation of the prevention mitigation and preparedness at local level national institute of disaster management the act provides for establishment of national institute of disaster management this institute is responsible for planning promoting training and research in the area of disaster management documentation and development of national level information base relating to disaster management policies prevention mechanism and mitigation measures its key function include development of training material formulate a comprehensive human resource plan provide inputs to governments develop educational material for disaster management including academic and professional courses promote awareness and conduct study courses national disaster response force the act envisage constitution of the national disaster response force for the purpose of specialist response to a threatening disaster situation or disaster the general superintendence direction and control of the force shall be vested and exercised by national disaster management authority national disaster response fund the disaster management act 2005 calls upon the central government to constitute the national disaster response fund for meeting any threatening disaster situation or disaster the central government will be able to use the money from this fund to meet expenses for emergency response relief and rehabilitation here we note that the erstwhile national calamity contingency fund which was constituted as per the recommendations of the 11th finance commission has been merged into national disaster response fund in line with the recommendations of the 13th finance commission the amount collected from national calamity contingent duty is transferred to the national disaster response fund national disaster mitigation fund the act also calls upon government to constitute a national disaster mitigation fund for projects exclusively for the purpose of mitigation the money from this fund is to be used by the disaster management authority for mitigation purposes critical reflections towards disaster management act the disaster management act 2005 opens a discussion in the areas of people's participation india needs a disaster response policy that puts people first a major noted point is that the act misses the point of mitigating effects of a disaster that is the rehabilitation or relocation and reconstruction there is no clear cut definition of relief but general guidelines for minimum standards of relief the act does envisage the establishment of a national disaster management authority along with state and district authorities but they are not accorded any well defined legal status the act also states that the actions of national state and district authorities cannot be challenged except in the supreme court or the high courts having respective jurisdiction another major gap that was the non inclusion of community participation in the areas of disaster control recent disaster situations have effectively proved that it is only community participation that brings about effective implementation 
Also, the formation of district level authorities alone will not take care of the actions at the ground level. The officials in charge need to be given specific guidelines in terms of actions to be taken in case of disaster. Also, their emergency powers and duties need to be defined more clearly. Action Aid 2007 as source. The Act has proposed to create series of funds, but the authorities under the Act do not have independent budgets. The various departments to be used in disasters will be providing the money. This again ties the hands of the authorities. The observations on the Act made here are not meant to take attention away from positive steps taken. The provisions relating to the constitution, functions, power and responsibility of National Disaster Management Authority with a response force and a policy which covers all spheres of disaster response right from the center to the district level is commendable. Summary. The Disaster Management Act was enacted by Government of India in the year 2005. The Act puts on central government the obligation to take all measures necessary for the purpose of disaster management. It is also obliged to make proper allocation of funds. The Act provides for setting up of a National Disaster Management Authority under the chairmanship of the Prime Minister with other nominated ministers. The National Disaster Management Authority is assisted by an executive committee of secretaries and an advisory committee of experts. The National Disaster Management Authority is solely responsible for laying down the policies, plans and guidelines for disaster management. The Act provides for state disaster management authority in each state and union territory under the chairmanship of Chief Minister, Lieutenant Governor, Administrator. The state National Disaster Management Authority is assisted by an executive committee of secretaries and an advisory committee of experts. The State Disaster Management Authority is responsible for laying down the policies, plans and guidelines for disaster management in the state. Model Questions Question 1. What are the major objectives of Disaster Management Act 2005? Question 2. Discuss the responsibilities of the central government with respect to Disaster Management Act 2005. Question 3. What is the National Disaster Response Fund? Question 4. List out the powers and functions of National Disaster Management Authority as per the Disaster Management Act 2005. Question 5. What is National Disaster Mitigation Fund? References. A Global Report, Reducing Disaster Risk, a Challenge from Development by UNDP, BCPR 2004. Climate Change and Disasters in India, Mal R.K., R. Kumar and R. Butler, 2010, Journal of South Asian Disaster Studies, SARC Disaster Management Center, New Delhi, in press. Crisis Management for Despair to Hope, Third Report, Second Administrative Reforms Commission, September 2006, New Delhi. Disaster Reduction in United Nations, 2011, Roles, Mandates, Areas of Work of Key United Nations Entities. ISDR. Government of India 2005, Disaster Management Act 2005. Government of India 2009, National Policy on Disaster Management, IMD 2016. The Report of High Powered Committee on Disaster Management in India, National Center for Disaster Management, Indian Institute of Public Administration.